In this video, I will show you how to work with eBay Steals accounts and what is the most important thing which you work with eBay, Steel in, with eBay Steals accounts. The most important thing is Firefox Portable or any different browser from your current browser and a proxy. I will show you in this video how to work with these things and why they are so important. Hi everyone, I am Lior Posey and I am CEO and owner of AutoDS. So let's start. The first thing which you need to have is a different browser, separated browser from your current browser which you use for your current account. And for any Steelers account you will need to have another browser and I will show you how to have all of these browsers. So I'm working with Mac and that's why I write here Firefox Portable Mac but you can just write Firefox Portable and you will get the same browser just for Windows. So I go to the first result here, then I go to uh, the first option here and I will just wait until the download starts and the file will be downloaded to my uh, computer. After the download finished, I will have this file, Firefox Portable. I will open the file, in Windows you will have an exe file so you just can install it and I will copy the file to the applications uh, folder. Now, now I have here this folder, Firefox Portable. I will extract it again to the applications and I have this. Now, any uh, folder like this, like this icon which I created now on Windows, any installation, any every time when you click the exe the file and installing it. This is another account, another user. So, if I want to have one sales account, so I will create here an account and Firefox and I will call it Leo1. Right, I already have this name, so I will call it Leo10. And I can duplicate it as many times as I want. Every account will have its store's name here just for our comfort. So I will call this one the auto. So now we have the application, we have the other browser which we can open and use for any of our accounts. Again, every different account has its own browser. It doesn't matter if you are on Windows or on Mac. You need to install Firefox Portable. The other option is just create another user on Windows and have there its own Firefox. But this way I found as much more comfortable. And this is how I teach everyone to use. So I will open this application, this Firefox Portable. Okay. And as you can see, the browser opened here. Now, after we have the browser, and you can see it opened here in the bottom. So you don't see my bottom, but anyway, after I opened here the browser, I need to configure here something which called proxy. What is proxy? So Firefox is just so we can now uh, browse from other cookies and other data. So eBay will not know that we are the other account. This is what means still the counts. But except uh, the browser and except the cookies, we have another thing which called our IP address. Our IP address is how we go outside to the network. It's like our address of, of our computer. So we need to change this IP address. So if I go to a site like WTF is my IP.com. I will see my address as Israel and my IP address, where, here where I sit. Now I want to change this IP address. For this we have services which cost not a lot of money, around $2 per month, which means $2 per steals account. And we need to purchase one IP address like this. So I go to the site proxy and VPN, I will put the link here under the video. And I click register. 
I'm already connected to my account, so all you need to do is click register and uh, finish the registration process there. Proxy and VPN. Show you. Click register. And here I just need to fill the details. First name, last name, company name, it doesn't matter. Email address, your regular email address, it doesn't matter, eBay will not see it. Password, address, all of these details, just fill the real details because eBay will not see it and it's okay. Here fill the capture and re click register. After that you will need to uh, verify your account, go to your email address and verify it. And then you need to purchase proxy. So which type of proxies uh, we have? The first type is private proxy. Sorry, the first one is shared proxy. Shared proxy is a proxy. It's one IP address which shared between many people. This thing is not good for us and is very, very, very dangerous for us because when we use shared proxy, it's possible that someone else also use the same shared proxy. And then if their account will be banned from eBay or will be suspended, our account also will be affected from this. So shared proxy is not good for us. We need something which called private proxy. Private proxy is a proxy which is private. It's only for us, not for anyone else. So what we go do, we go to uh, my proxies. Sorry, we go to buy proxies and click here private proxies. Here we will just buy one proxy, it's one per uh, eBay user actually. So I will click order now and after a few minutes we will see the proxy under our proxies. Our proxies are here, my proxies. Sometimes it takes more than a few minutes and it can take a few hours but you will finally see that the proxy is assigned to your account. If not, you always can create a support ticket on their site. So this is how the proxy looks. Uh, we can see here the IP address, the port. This is the two things which we need and from where the proxy, as we can see here, New Jersey and country US. So for the proxy, we have two types of authentication. The first one is IP address and the second one is username and password. I will choose the username and password and click set up. Now, this process can take a few minutes until uh, this password and username is set up for our account. Let me put here another password. Okay, so this process can take up to 10 minutes. We just wait and then we will be able to log in with these details. So how to use it? Now we have the IP address. I will take the IP address from here. This is the address where which the eBay and the Google and any other site will see our computer. I go to Firefox, I go here to the top to preferences. Then I go to a uh, advanced one second I go to advanced then I go to connection I go to uh, settings here I put the I click the manual proxy configuration I put here the IP address and the port from here Okay, then I just check use this proxy for server for all protocols. I click OK, exit. By the way, it's not a problem, you can update this Firefox because this version is very old, so you can just click about and it will start the update, the upgrade actually. And you can surf again to what the fuck is my IP.com, WTF is my IP. Now, as you can see, now I go from a different address from this IP. As you can see, this IP is the same IP which I got from here. Now eBay don't know that I is the same Mac or the same computer 
which used before the previous account. Because now the browser is different and the IP address is different. All you need to be aware is not to log in from the same browser to different uh, still accounts. So now we have different browser and different IP address. On the previous video, we talked about this, that you need to have different phone number, different address and different name. So now we covered from all of the uh, places and from anything. So all you need to know is that you need to split the browsers, split the proxy. If you put the proxy one time on the configuration which I showed you, it always will go from this IP so you will be safe. About question about monitors, when you use AutoDS or any other tool, it goes all from our uh, API, which means that you are safe and it doesn't matter if you use many stills accounts from the same browser of the AutoDS. So I hope that this video helped you. Don't forget to share this video, to like and comment, write in the comments if you are using stills accounts and if this video helped you or not. And don't forget to share and you have the links for all the tools we talked about on, on this description. See you on the next videos. I hope you, that you like this video. Bye bye.